Good afternoon, this is Schweitzer. We're going to do an answer key to a preliminary quiz. Could be something like a topic reminder. Something to say, am I ready for this quiz? Um, you should not be just watching me do this. You should try it on your own first and then give it a whirl. Okay? So it says during the firing process of a pottery plate, carbon monoxide of wood burning reacts with iron. That's iron three oxide to produce iron two oxide with amazing colors. Determine the enthalpy change of this reaction above. Okay, so we're going to need our, our tables, uh, enthalpy tables for this particular uh, opportunity. And let's grab one of those. So we're looking for iron three oxide. And there we go. And right here, iron three oxide is negative 824. So we'll jump back there for that guy. This guy right here is negative 824. I think that's what it said. My memory's short. Um, all right, and then, yep, 824. And iron oxide is iron 2 oxide. It should be right next to it. Iron 2 oxide right there is negative 272. All right. So a lot of this here at this point is just data collection. Uh, negative 272. Carbon dioxide gas is negative 393. Carbon monoxide gas, I don't know. Let's go check that one. Um, carbon monoxide, C is under carbon. All right. And here there we go so right here is that negative 393 that I just put up there and above it is the negative 110 okay so at this point now we have our data tables negative 110 the only thing we have to do now is um, do some some work and grab your calculators so Start putting this information together. I'll do, let's say, this guy right here. Uh, what's that going to be? Negative 934. And this guy here, I kind of multiply this guy times 2. So 272, it looks like. So 272 times 2 is 544. So this is a negative 544. And negative plus a negative 393, negative 937, so negative 937. And then we're going to take the products minus the reference, so it's going to be negative 937 minus a negative 934, and it's like adding, so. We're going to get a pretty similar, pretty small number here. So was it like three? Three, uh, and it's going to be negative three. It would be um, kilojoules per reaction cycle. Is it exothermic or anthermic? Well, it's negative, so it's exothermic. A negative delta H is exothermic. A positive delta H is endothermic. So. Um, how much energy would be needed uh, involved in 10 grams of iron oxide to produce? So 10 grams of this. Okay, let's do this math here. So 10 grams, get rid of grams and go to moles. And for every two moles that's produced, notice I'm using that two right here, I get out three kilojoules of energy. Three kilojoules of energy. And I use my molar mass here. So iron oxide is, all right, um, 56, I believe. And then this guy is 16. You can adjust your answer. But I'm guessing an iron. I don't want to pull up a track table right now. So um, there we go. Okay. Should I have a track table here? I'm going to grab quickly here. Let's grab this. See, it's right there. I don't know for sure. All right, iron. How close was I? And 55.8. So 
Yep, let's go 56 is fine. All right, so 56 is fine. So six plus this, six is 12. Five, six, seven, 72 grams per mole. And one mole is 72 grams. Now let's just do the math. So less than one mole, 10 divided by 72 is 0.13 times three divided by two equals 0.2 so 0 0.208 kilojoules. Um, there we go. Which picture below would best describe the reaction? Well, it's axothermics. We're losing energy, so it's going to be this one right here. And this delta H is right there, which would be negative 3. Negative 3, we're going down by 3. So our system is emitting that energy to the outside, which is why it feels more. And we'll stop there for that moment. Thank you.